get out the pots and pans because we're about to get Siggy with it. Our friend Sigrid, known as Siggy from Scratch on Instagram, joining us with another delicious recipe, perfect for lunch or dinner. So grab the pen because you'll want to write this down. Siggy girl, happy March. So excited to have you back because I hear you have a fun kind of spring inspired dish that we're making today, right? You look great. The flowers are gorgeous. What are we making? <laughs> we're so excited. Thank you. Yes, I don't know about you, but I am so ready for spring weather. Spring is my favorite yeah. season. So we're going to be doing a skillet chicken with my favorite vegetable, which is leeks. I've talked about it on the show before. So this is a skillet chicken with leeks and carrots and crusty bread. Um, it's a really good transition meal. So as we're coming out of those cold winter months, um, you still want something hearty for the, the random cold days that we have. So this is a really good one to do um, to welcome in the, the new season. Um, and it's really simple to do. So the original recipe calls for chicken breast, but I like to do chicken thighs just because they're a little bit quicker when you're cooking them. So um, easier on me when I'm doing this during the week. Um, so you'll start with a skillet. I have my cast iron skillet here, put it on medium heat, and then you'll melt some butter and some olive oil, um, kind of let it get frothy. And then you will put the chicken, pat dry the chicken, put some salt and pepper on it, and then put your chicken skin side down because our goal is to get it nice and golden brown looking. Uh, so I did that. And while that was happening, I was chopping my vegetables. So, um, and I should mention that this chicken, it was chicken thighs and it was bone in skin on. So that's important to do. Um, but you can do whatever kind of chicken you want, of course. And uh, you're going to clean your vegetables. So I scrubbed the carrots, I peeled them and then did a rough chop on them. So you don't have to worry about making it um, picture perfect. And then for the leeks, they're grown in dirt. So you have to be sure to really clean them well. So I just chopped those then put them into a water bath, um, dried them off. Then you're going to um, have those ready and then you can use bread. So I did a, a baguette, but the original recipe calls for Italian bread. Um, or you could use your bread that's kind of drying out. So to save on food waste, um, that's a great way to incorporate that into this recipe. Um, so your chicken gets done um, cooking uh, just on the top. You're going to remove that and then dump your veggies in. Okay. And then you're going to put some garlic, some um, lemon zest on it, and then just coat it. So mix it all up. Put the chicken back into your skillet and then throw it in the oven um, at 450 for about 20-ish minutes so it can finish cooking. And then a couple more steps. We're going to bring it out. We're going to let the chicken go on a field trip. We're going <laughs> to put it onto a plate um, and keep it warm with some tinfoil on top. And then we'll add some mint to the veggies. Mm. Um, so mint is a really good flavor as well. And then it'll go back into the oven for 10 more minutes so the vegetables can continue to roast um, and the carrots get really sweet and the, the leeks will begin to caramelize. So all of those sugars come out in the vegetables. Um, and then you bring it back out, add the chicken and you can squeeze some lemon juice over it, add some more mint uh, and that is the recipe. Oh, Siggy, we are loving it. We were seeing some pictures as you were talking, and this looks so good. And I love the convenience of kind of, you know, just really having that skillet as kind of your main, you know, dish that you can put it all in the oven in there. And we are just loving it. It looks so good. So springtime and so colorful. I want to point out, too, because I know when we first chatted with you, uh, you said kind of family history is a big part of why you cook. And I hear you learned this recipe kind of from your grandmother, right? Tell me about y'all's experiences in the kitchen together. Yes. Um, well, of course, I grew up, you know, being around all the women in my family cooking constantly for all the holidays. And whenever we go back to visit my mom's family, my grandmother, the matriarch of our family is making meals um, and dinner for everybody. So we all get together. Um, and this is one that she has done in jumbo size. Um, and she always has a, a perfect twist to, to make it unique to our family as well, but always have fun with her in the kitchen. Grandmothers, I feel like, have a knack for making everything jumbo size. Like, I, I feel like I'm a good cook, but, like, <laughs> only my mother and grandmother can, like, fry catfish for, like, 40 people. You know what I mean? I'm like, so shout out yes. to them. They've got it. Love that you've learned that. And just, you know, sweet, uh, sweet memories, of course, made with family in the kitchen are always so cherished. Siggy girl, we love you. Thank you for this recipe. Happy spring. Big question, of course, because everybody wants to know more. Where can we follow you and find more food inspiration? Um, Siggy from scratch.com or same place on Instagram. Um, thanks for having me back on. Always fun to be here. We Thank love you. you, girl. Always. We'll see you again probably next month or so. Thanks so much. Happy spring. <laughs> Sounds good. Happy spring.